Hi, Jesse Nebulis here, and I'm excited because today we are finally going to be unboxing this. Now this is supposed to be a box of, or a tin, of polychromos colored pencils. I thought I was getting, I was supposed to get this about two weeks ago. They sent me the wrong thing. They sent me brush pens, which were cool, but you know, it's not what I wanted. I wanted my polychromos. So now we're going to open it up without further ado. Fingers crossed that it's actually what I want it to be this time. Okay, the moment of truth. Yes! Polychromos colored pencils. 24 pack. Oh, nice. Ooh, I'm excited. Look at all the beautiful colors we get. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, they're gorgeous. I have an art on. Okay, enough of that. The Faber Castell Polychromos. So beautiful. Faber Castell is a German company. Most people say Faber Castell, but I asked a German, and he specifically said it is Faber. There is no purple. I will have to make my own purple. We can make our own. You are. Helio Blue Reddish. Okay, fair enough. So it has the names. You can't really read it because it's shiny in the camera, but it has the name of the color, both in English and in German. There's little stars on there, and that's indicating the light fastness. And light fastness is just a pigment's ability to withstand um, fading in sunlight over time. And I think three stars means above 100 years or 150 years or something that you're piece will still be standing and bright and colorful. And you'll note that not only is it the light fast with colors in the name, it is also capped on the end. This is wonderful because this actually protects the uh, lead inside the pencil. It's because it's a good quality pencil and it protects it from like if you drop it, it's less likely to shatter inside. All right, let's get to swatching. Okay, for the white, the way we're gonna do this is we're going to take a kind of a medium color, this dark red, and we're going to put down a little bit onto here. Because obviously white's not going to just show up. So to test the white, and I kind of know how this is going to go because I've used polychromos white before. We're just going to put down a little wash of color. It's actually a little darker than I intended, but oh well, it's not a big deal. Okay, put down a little bit of that and see how opaque it is. Or in this case, isn't because polychromos white is not very opaque. It does help blend it a little bit, as you can see, but it doesn't really cover much. It doesn't lighten it much. It will help with blending. And as you can see, it matches quite closely, in fact. Most of the colors I've um, that I've used to polychromos, I've only had a 12 pack before. But the colors do match the caps pretty closely. Something that's nice about Faber-Castell is that their colors match each other from different um, different mediums. So these are the Pit Artist pens that they accidentally sent me last time instead of these pencils, which turned out to be okay because I really like them. So they're really cool. We'll go ahead and do a little... A little swatch over here and then we'll go ahead and test it next to that and see how close it is I would say that's a pretty damn close match that is impressive I'm kind of glad they sent me the wrong product because I ended up really liking those on with the swatching swatching is important because although in this case of polychromos the lead does match the color of the casing pretty closely as you can see that's quite a that's a close match not all pencils are like that. Plus, it'll give you an idea of how it, the medium actually works on paper. I'm curious about how these match up with my 12 set. Apparently, you say dark red in German as Dunkelrot. Dunkelrot! I don't know if that was a German accent. I have no idea. See, I don't know why we need four blues and four greens, but no purple. And it just seems like colored pencils. They just skip over purple so just often. I don't know what I'm drawing yet for the demo, but 
I think I'm gonna use that green at some point. Cause that is gorgeous. Yeah, I'd give up one of these browns for a purple. My kingdom, my kingdom for a purple. Okay, the colors are all swatched and they're beautiful. I especially like the emerald green. Something about that color is really calling to me. So I'm thinking we're definitely going to do something with it. I even like, I like the combination of the emerald green and the light green. So we might be doing something with those colors. And when we're back, we will work on a demo. Gotta, I've just got to figure out what we're going to draw. <laughs> okay, see you there. Welcome to the voiceover portion. First off, if you hear any rain noises, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> it is raining, which is a little strange because it's December, but it's not cold enough for it to turn to snow. So here we are. Uh, you may notice that some of the pencils are shorter than they were a moment ago. That's because I swapped out my matching, uh, the matching colors in my 12-pack uh, that I already had. So. And I don't know if you can tell what we're drawing, but it is actually some kind of peacock-type bird. It's not, like, realistic. It's very stylized. But it is definitely some sort of peacock because I wanted to make use of all those blues and greens. And I don't know if I'm going to talk for the entire drawing, because I don't know what all I would have to say. I suppose I could give you a little bit of information on how to use Polychromos, even though I plan to do a Polychromos like 101 Basics video next. But I can give a little bit of tips in this one. Polychromos, um, it's a pencil that might be more difficult for beginners to blend with because it, it's an oil-based pencil, so it's harder than a wax-based pencil. So it doesn't have that creamy blendability that you get with like most wax pencils, like Prismacolor. Um, so they don't blend the same. You have to layer and layer. And layer and layer and layer and layer. Or you can use odorless mineral spirits or some other kind of uh, blending agent. I have chosen not to do that with this particular one. I'm just going to layer for this piece. Oh, and we're all the way down to the wing now. What's kind of funny is I was so gung-ho about that particular green, and then I ended up not using it as much. I actually ended up using the light green the most, but I still used the emerald green for uh, some of the details. But definitely didn't make as much use of it as I thought I would when I first swatched them. Not that there's anything wrong with it, it's just it would have been too dark, there wouldn't have... The saturations would have been too similar between the blue body and the feathers down here had I made them darker. There wouldn't have been much contrast or anything. So I wanted to keep the feathers lighter in tone, so I uh, used the lighter green. And I honestly don't know what else to say. I am just going along, layer by layer, slowly. This piece took about, I think, two hours, maybe. Because color pencil is a very slow medium. You have to have patience when you do color pencil. Because otherwise, you're just going to be in a world of hurt. You can't really rush colored pencil. It just doesn't work that way. You just got to take it layer by layer, slowly building up, building up those values, building up the saturation. So when I'm recording this, it's actually right before Christmas, but I think by the time I post it, it's going to be after Christmas, possibly on New Year's Day. So, hey, let me know in the comments how your holidays are going or how they went, depending on when you see this. 
you could be watching this 10 years in the future, assuming that the world hasn't boiled by then. I guess we'll see, huh? Okay, and now I'm reaching for the orange. And I picked that color because it contrasts very lovely, lovely, lovely with the blue. Because they are complementary colors, which means they look great next to each other. And not much else to say about that. Except I think it's looking pretty good. I just love working with polychromos. I love the way they layer and everything. It's great. And there it is. So, this is the finished piece. This is what we could do with polychromos. And I love them. I love the polychromos by Faber Castell. It is good stuff. It is good. Made in Germany. Good stuff. Okay, and that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, all the YouTube things. And I will see you in the next video. I have two a week, usually, if not more. And that's all. Thank you very much. Jesse Navila signing off.